Last day we used the gold cube uh, to uh, take that big quantity of cons down to a small amount. This morning I classified the stuff down so uh, I have very, very, very fine stuff here. I've got the slightly coarser stuff in my office and I'll show you that on the Miller table. This stuff here is 50 minus, so it will fit through a 50 mesh screen. That means it's pretty darn fine. The blue bowl, we'll just yeah. show you how the blue bowl works. The blue bowl is great at uh, taking extremely fine gold and cleaning it up perfectly. Oh, oh this is that fine gold? Okay. This is the fine, fine stuff that we okay. went through yesterday. Now, it took me a bit of time to set it up nice because the blue bowl is quite finicky. You have to have the water levels just right. You have to have it perfectly level. Everything has to be working just right. And as I feed material into it, if I feed it a little too fast into the bowl, it actually changes the water levels and you have to tweak it. It's quite a finicky machine. Today, I've got it going pretty, well, I'm gonna go through this stuff pretty quick because you don't want to sit here for hours watching this clean out the gold. But the blue bowl actually works best if you let it go for a long, long time. Let it clean the gold really slowly. Now, just water pushed into this, uh, the blue bowl, which uh, has a hole in the center making this sort of uh, whirlpool effect, spinning the water around, and that moving water has just the right amount of speed and energy to pick up black sand and get rid of it. But it doesn't have enough speed and energy to pick up the gold of the same size and get rid of it so the gold stays on the bottom. I'm just gonna put a little bit in right now to let you guys uh, sort of see the action going on a little bit here. Some people will put the material in while the water is stopped and then turn on the water. Some people will put it in as it is uh, going. I prefer as it's going. Um, maybe that's just because I'm lazy. I have the big lights on it right now because the big lights really show up the gold nicely. The gold will really glitter under those big lights. Um, and that's why they're there. Did you see some gold already coming up? Yeah, you'll see it all along. Because I, because I dropped it here, most of the heavies will have fallen directly down and moved over a bit. So most of the gold is right there right now. But as it goes, um, it will move the black sand around. And anywhere you see piles of black sand, as that black sand goes away, the gold will start showing up in those little spots. This stuff would be very hard to pan out just because it's so fine and the black sands are so heavy compared to the gold, the fine, fine gold there, that it's really hard to separate these in a pan. Where the blue bowl does a pretty nice job of it. Now I can hear that my water level has gone, and I can see it actually, my water level's gone down too much. Uh, put a little bit too much in there and having that much material in there has created a bit of friction for the water and it slowed it down. So I'll just uh, tweak that valve a little bit, see if we can get the water speed back up. I'm moving a very, very small amount. You'll be able to see that the black sands are actually climbing up that inner cone, climbing up. There's a little ridge at the top to make sure that any gold that might climb up gets a little bit of an obstacle and hopefully will drop back down. And then the black sands are climbing up that center cone, jumping over that little lip and going down into the bucket below. Now I'm going too fast. Look at that. This is why this thing's finicky. Slow her down a bit. I've heard of people putting um, their material into a blue bowl, then turning it on and just letting it go for hours and hours. Uh, turning it on really slow speed and letting the water just do its thing very slowly to clean up their gold. I'm not quite that patient. I even heard one guy putting it overnight. Put it on, went to bed, in the morning, came out and got his cleaned up gold. <coughs> what was that? Getting a little high for this fine of material. From this angle, it looks like it's like uneven over there. The tighter you classify your material for the blue belt bowl, the better. I have 50 minus here all the way down to the finest stuff. 
Uh, really, I should have sifted it down to 100 minus, and then sifted it down to 50 minus. Um, I might be losing some of the 100 minus gold in doing this because uh, it's not classified quite tight enough, especially if I let this uh, water get up like that. If you uh, classify to like 50 minus and 80 minus and 100 minus and all these different things and then run each of those separately, you'll get very, very, very good recovery rates out of this thing. You'll always have some crazy pieces of gold that just are shaped funny or, or really, really, really flat that get caught up in the water and go away. But the blue bowl is really designed to catch almost everything. is down too much. I could probably just let it go when it goes down like that and it would slowly uh, still work and then come back up to the right level. But as I said, you guys don't want to watch this for an hour. I think after that little uh, shucker thing there, You remember I talked last day about jet dry in the water? It is quite important um, for the blue bowl. Not so important for the gold cube, because gold cube is designed to sink the material. But it is very important for the blue bowl to have that jet dry in the water so that when I'm adding material like this, even though it's wet, it's coming up to the surface and I don't want it to float away on me. Get the last few specks of gold. I can see like 20 pieces going over right now. Clean. What about the little bit of dirt on the side? A little bit of dirt on the side. It might have gold in it. Let's wash it down and in. Okay, let's get this water level back up to a right level. It's a, I, I can, even though it's down a bit, I can see. I can see the black sands climbing and falling over. It's working quite well right now. How many pieces of gold do you see in there? Count them. And the mo most of the gold right now is actually right around that center ring, right at the bottom, underneath that black sand. You can't see it right now because the black sand's on top of it. But most of it's right around that center ring. And as this thing starts cleaning it up, you'll start seeing just a line of yellow around that center. I don't use the blue bowl very often because I usually don't have volumes to go through. I usually just throw it in a pan, pan it down, so I usually have small, small amounts. But I do keep all the stuff that I've panned out, all the black sands that I've panned out throughout the year, keep them all in one spot, and then at the end of each season, I'll take them all, sift them down, run them all through, and see what I missed in panning. Because, yeah, you always miss a little bit panning. I'm gonna see if I can get a close-up picture of uh, a closer-up picture of the gold here. I'm not sure if the uh, there's a lot of reflection from these big lights, but I think the camera should be able to get the fact that there's gold all around. Okay, I gotta deal with this water. It's getting up too much. I'm gonna start losing gold if I do that. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> almost there. Almost all the black sand's gone. little 
lines left to clear out. You know, it looks like it's getting It is. Finicky, this thing. Over there to deal with. Okay, we're gonna shut her off at that, and so you guys can uh, come over here and see the gold in there. Turn off the water. There's still a bit of black sand. It let run quite long enough, but you guys can get the idea. You can see all the gold in there. <coughs> <laughs> and then once it's all done you're gonna go in with like a snuffer bottle or something and you're gonna push it all around using a turkey baster I didn't leave it run long enough there's still a fair bit of black sand in there push it all into one little pile What do you think, guys? Nice amount of gold there? Mm -hmm. And from there, I would suck it up with my snuffer bottle or those aqua tweezers or something and put it into a vial. Pretty cool? Mm -hmm. Pretty cool. Okay, guys. 